We need to clarify sin. We need to clarify it. Here's what it, I actually had a pastor in town, and I can tell you this, or the church. He lectured me because I'm too specific in my sermons when I call out certain movies. Game of Thrones, Twilight, Witchcraft. He goes, no, 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 you, people are, <laughs> That will offend them. You need to just be broad and talk about entertainment in general. See, the problem is if I do that, nobody thinks it's them. They think, oh, yeah, I don't watch that. No, you you call it out. You name it. You get specific. You go right to the heart. You, you, You clarify. You don't send mixed messages. How can Joel Osteen go to Lady Gaga's LGBT party? I just makes no sense as a pastor. That makes no sense. But we have to relate to them. Yes, you have an after-party party, and you say, now you're coming on my terms. Let me tell you about the gospel. If Lady Gaga was my friend, she's not, don't, but if she was, I wish she was. I w- maybe she'll hear this. I would say, hey, Shane, can you come to this party? No. You know what I stand for? You know that would, I just can't embrace that. But I'll tell you what, the following day, let's cater, let's have food there, and I'm going to share what I know about God to all your friends. So you have compassion without compromise. You, you, you can relate to people, but you play, you, you, people say, well, Jesus would go everywhere. No, he didn't go into the harlot's home. While, while harlotry was going on, he reached out to them. He didn't go in the bars and let's throw down some, let's get a stripper up there. Then I can relate to you. Oh, shit, I crossed the line, the PG version. I'm sorry. <laughs> but no, let's be real. Let's be honest. We have to clarify sin. We have to stop compromising the gospel. We stand as a light. We stand as a beacon of light. We love you. We hope for you. We pray for you. But we will not compromise the truth. And if something puts me in a compromising position while I'm validating sin, I have to step back because I have to answer to my Savior, not answer to a lost and dying world that is hell-bent on rejecting God. You know, I just, I hope this is an encouragement. No matter what sin a person is struggling with, they often say, but I was born this way. It's how God made me. But we have to be careful because God made me. I was born to be a thief. Did you know that? I was born to lie. I was a good little liar. I was born, I began drinking at 12. I was born to sin. But never let that be an excuse from repentance. We were born into sin. In sin we were conceived. And it breaks my heart because so many people say, but I was born this way and I have to live this way. No, you don't. God can set you free. Take it to the cross. I'm a personal testimony. What God can do with a person on their way to hell, living a life of destruction, mocking God. I shouldn't even be here. I would get drunk, I would snort crystal meth, I would smoke marijuana, and then I'd shoot up steroids just for the fun of it. All in one night? Why did my heart just explode? 